such a lonely place. Just wanted to do uh, again, first of all, um, thank everyone for uh, coming to our big day. Um, it's been uh, more than a year of planning for for us, and I hope you all really enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> I guess without further ado, uh, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that's all I want to say. Thank you, and uh, let's party. Let's party. <laughs> about Michael, he's very good at segregating his life. He's very, very meticulous about sa mga tao and a lot of things actually. He likes cars. I think a lot of, a lot of, I hear he likes a lot. He can really tell a model of a car and a brand of a car just from the sound. So I, I do have to tell him, so uh, tell some embarrassing things, but uh, Michael's life. Um, but he is a Swifty. <laughs> None of people know that. So his top songs in Spotify, you'll know what it is. <laughs> uh, he loves country. Yeah, he, has a, uh, has a, he has his own country playlist. And he's um, our bunso in our family. So he's, he has a very bunso energy. Na pa baby and so on. sign of God than him bringing me to you. You are truly my biggest and wildest dreams answered in more ways than one. You bring me joy that's greater than what I thought joy and happiness could ever be. You are my North Star. Everything I do is to make you proud and happy and I vow to do that forever. I will do everything I can to give you the life that we have always dreamed of. Faded out the road, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Are you sure? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Michael and Erica, you are now entering one of the seven sacraments of the Catholic Church, the sacrament of matrimony. We all know, my dear friends, that marriage is a sacred covenant, a holy relationship between a man and a woman that was instituted by God. Even if a person is not married or is not planning to be one, he or she still needs to understand that entering this sacrament is more than exchanging vows or I do, but above all, learning how sacred marriage is. I vow to love you more and more as time goes by. I will love you in our good times, and I will choose to love you more in our challenging times. I vow to love you more when you have misunderstandings or fights, and I vow to always make an effort so that you feel loved and appreciated through the small subtle ways and through the grand gestures. And I'm about to love you and make you happy forever. Love you. Wear this ring as a sign of my unconditional love and fidelity to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Michael, wear this ring as a sign of my unconditional love and fidelity to you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. 
I give you this array as a pledge of my dedication to your welfare and that of our children. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Michael, wear this ring, and I accept them. Okay, those close to her, or maybe even those not close to her, know that she's a big crybaby. <laughs> she actually cried at her bachelorette. But really, underneath all those free-flowing tears is someone who knows how to get through every situation. No matter how difficult it gets, she comes out even stronger and better. She may be faced by a challenge at the beginning, but she will go through it and come out on top of it. The real third thing about Erica is she manages to make everything light and hopeful. She has this outstanding and admirable quality where no matter how low you're feeling, she takes the burden off of your shoulders while letting you just be yourself around her with no judgment. In less settled times of Erica and I, we used to talk about our goals. No matter how small or petty, and we would even come up with a catchphrase or a hashtag for each new year to motivate ourselves. I, I think a lot of people in, in, uh, see him in the professional world as very decisive, uh, very up, up, type, up, up person and all. Uh, but when he comes home, he he likes to be he likes to be uh, baby baby ng ate niya. always there uh, um, asking for things from her, uh, taking uh, asking to be taken care of. Uh, when we first met Erica, um, we also found out that Bunso din pala si Erica, so they have that very uh, Bunso energy together. Um, but that's one of the good things uh, about them. Um, you know that they'll spoil each other because they know how to be spoiled. Uh, they'll know how to take care of each other and they know how it feels to be loved. Here's to love, laughter, and happy ever after. Down for the rise, scary as hell, but I left the dream. Don't know where this thing is headed, but I'm not gonna feel I know, Mike, I said I, this was gonna be about Erica, but I'd like to think that your presence in her life has allowed her to be all that she is. You've given her a safe space where she has been able to weather storms and achieve her goals with you. I truly believe that the partner you choose is a make or break in the life you get. And you guys have made each other better. And there's an ease about you both because you feel truly loved and respected. My kang swerta mo. You know you have someone who will and can ride the roller coaster of life with you. So to my girl, my wife, and the love of my life, Erica. Baby, you are my greatest love. You are my soulmate. Always has been, and always will be. Make me excited about everything. From the daily normal things, like saying good morning, and walking our little churro, to the big things like dreaming and fulfilling the big goals and milestones in our lives. Your support and love makes me feel so grateful and blessed to have someone like you by my side. When I'm with you, I feel the calmest and the happiest at the same time. I've never felt so convinced that all our dreams will come true because I'm doing it with you. All my dreams have been answered being with you. I love you. I love you.
Bye.